Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Wednesday, March 29th. So <laughs> yesterday, um, I was done work by about 4:30. That's how I was able to do the video. So I was thankful for that, but man, it still seemed like it was a really long day. Today, we have the case we had Monday that was very long. I am hoping, hopeful, that it just is a normal day and ends at a normal time. Um, it can be very stressful on your mind and your body, you know, working 12 hour day at a computer. Um, so gratitude list for today. This is going to be a, a pretty quick update. I don't have very much to share with you guys. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So I flipped to a page of my journal as I was flipping to my gratitude list where I wrote, try to keep your soul always in peace and quiet. Mm. That's easier said than done. Um, but it says, let go of the envy, the fantasy, and the cancerous restlessness. Yeah, I mean, I was reading, and I forget what passage, when I flipped in my, I read my Bible last night before bed, and it talked about, you know, how we just always want, 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 and it made me think of, Ladybug Love Kit. Um, and it hit me that, you know, I've put up probably four or five posts in the DAC fans group. And I think I'm striving too hard to try to get it. Because usually I find when I, you know, I'm trying to um, fiercely get something, like really trying to search it out, I can never find it. Um, so I'm backing off, I'm backing off, trusting God. If it's meant for me to have it, I will find it in the DAC fans group or somebody will contact me and say they have it. Because when I really stop and think about it, do I need that kit? No. Um, if, if I stopped right now buying kits, I have plenty to keep me busy. I mean, I have 30 kits. I just looked in my app yesterday, the Gems Flow app that I have. I have 30 kits now. Um, that's plenty. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and Queen of Hearts was restocked yesterday at Diamond Art Club. So I don't know if it's still in stock, but it was as of yesterday. But okay. Um, gratitude list. I have five things on there. Number one, our regular team is working today. I'm thankful and grateful that I have backup people that I can contact, but because they don't work with us, you know, on a regular basis most times and they work for other people, um, everyone does everything differently, the procedures, all of that. So I think it gets, it's hard to remember what procedure goes with what reporter and which makes more work for me because I'm reminding people of things. Or, you know what I mean? So, I'm just thankful that today, hopefully, I won't have to be behind the team because they've worked with us for a long time. So, thankful for that. Today, tomorrow, and Friday, um, we have our regular team. So, thankful, grateful. Yeah. Um, number two, yesterday ended in a normal time. Yeah, I was just so thankful because um, my body was hurting yesterday. And even though I didn't get any diamond painting done, I was able to come in here, do my video, um, and then help Bill with dinner and be able to sit down for, you know, two hours with him. And didn't have any work to do at 8 o'clock when it was bedtime, so I was able to stitch, which I will show you in a second. Um, number three, good books on Kindle Unlimited. There are so many wonderful books on there. Paying that $10.59 a month pays for itself because... I almost read all the books I read are on there. Yeah. And I started reading a new book called The Perfect Girl. It's pretty good so far. I'm about 50 pages in. I'm a fast reader, I think. Um, I read this morning while having breakfast, which that's another thing I wanted to add on my list, which I will at the end. 
Number four, Bill. Um, I'm just grateful that he is willing to help Charlize drive. He is actually driving with her on Thursday. So that's good because I sent her a long message yesterday and was like, look, you got to be proactive in this. So I'm hoping it got through to her. We'll see. We'll see. And then number five, I have everything I need. Every single day, I have everything I need. Food, shelter, heat, makeup, clothes, food. Okay, and the food thing, like, is a big thing because it is so easy to take that for granted, like having food in the kitchen, but there are many people that struggle. I mean, I remember what it was like not having any money and having to go to the grocery store with a calculator. I have done that, yes. Um, but um, the sixth thing on my list is the sourdough bread from Panera that I bought at the grocery store. So good. So I, for breakfast the past couple days, I've been making avocado toast, which how I make my avocado toast is I slice a piece of that sourdough bread off. I toast it in the toaster oven. I cook an egg. I have like an egg poacher, like an egg cooker for the microwave. I cook one egg and I bought these individual guacamole cups from the grocery store. So I will scoop one of those out, toast the bread, spread the guacamole on the bread. Then I put everything bagel seasoning and then I put the egg on top. And then I just cut it with a fork and knife and just, it is so good. It is so, so good. Um, so just very, I'm just thankful for that today. Because I sat out there just now and had that and a cup of coffee and read some of my book. And, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of just enjoyment. And that's really, you know, that's really what it's about too is, you know, no one's going to be happy or joyous like 24-7. That's just not even possible. It is about cultivating and, and finding those little tiny pockets of time in your day to have some joy. And one of the things is my stitching at night. And I know I've talked about that too. So last night, um, Amazon, if you're a member of Amazon Prime, and who isn't, right? Most people are. They have their own movies that are like exclusive to Amazon. And one of the like sections of movies they have is by Blumhouse. And they're mostly like horror or thrillers. Um, I've watched a bunch of them. My favorite one in there is The Lie. If you have not seen that, holy hell. Um, it gets to the end and Bill and I looked at each other like, what the? Yeah. Um, another good one on there is Black Box. That was also a good one. And then last night, and I don't know why it took me so long to watch this. Um, I watched Evil Eye and I really liked it. And then I started watching another one. So Evil Eye was an hour and a half. And then I started watching another one with Barbara Hershey called The Manor. And so far, that's pretty good. I I'll probably try to finish that today. But yeah, I got some more done. Let's friggin' go, right? So got some more done along here. I'm slowly just, and I did some over here. I'm just trying to like go row by row, really. Um, and then I got the line stitched. The line's not crooked, it's the fabric. I tried my hardest to finagle this Q-snap to get that line straight, and that's the straightest it's gonna be. Um, Cause once I, you know, take it off the Q-snap, and this time, I really am going to um, wash it. Not in the washing machine. Um, Somebody put Dawn dish liquid in like warm water and then soak the piece. I'm really going to try that because I want to see, and Stitches and Sass said this works, that it fluffs up the stitches so it kind of hides, you know how you can kind of see behind the darker colors? I've never washed a piece. In the 40 years I've been stitching, I've never washed a piece. I've always just had it framed. So this will be a little experiment. Maybe I'll film it. Yeah. But enjoying working on this so very much. So this is the end of the second page. So when I get done, it's going to be a solid, like all of this is the rest of the page. And then there's two more pages. And then that's it. So 
yeah, I have the retreat, uh, like two and a half weeks, April 13th, 14th, 15th. And I know I'll be taking this. Maybe I'll be able to get by that time. Maybe I'll be able to be on these little pages. I'll be able to get this second page done because when I stitch at night, I stitch usually one to two hours. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I love it just so much. It looks, I mean, when you go back here, like let's go, right? It's going to look so good. Yeah. Enjoying it very much. And I've realized too, and I know I said this before, this has to be the size that I work on because this is, I don't know when I started this. Some of you may remember, I didn't write the date down. It's been a minute um, since I started this. So I can't imagine doing the big, big ones. Um, they're gorgeous, but she has so many littler ones and she's like doing more. I pray that she redoes Phoenix and makes it smaller because really want to do that one um, but the smaller version of it so we'll see but I have so many of her patterns that are the smaller ones but yeah that's it that's all I got I am praying that today ends early so I can do some diamond painting but we have two witnesses today it's supposed to be one witness at 11 and then the other at 2 which does not that does not bode well for the day ending early. <laughs> um, but um, I was also secretly praying <laughs> that tomorrow cancels. Um, it hasn't confirmed yet, but it would be nice if it did. I would gladly take the day off. But I am looking forward to having off next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which I do. So I will definitely be able to get some diamond painting done there. Um, yeah but okay i'm gonna let you guys go i hope you're all having a good week and a good wednesday as always if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them to the best of my ability thank you so much for watching and subscribing and i will see you in my next video bye guys